Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I am going to step away from doing Christmas decor and decorating to redo my farmhouse hutch makeover. So this is in preparation for Christmas. I wanted to give this hutch that I had a brand new kind of updated modern farmhouse look. So I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace a couple years ago and although I love the blue in there and kind of the antique looking to it, it just does not match my decor. So I decided to give it a little bit of a facelift to give it that modern touch that I'm looking for to match the rest of my kitchen. So first I'm just going to remove everything in here, that way I have a nice clean surface to work with. So a lot of the decor in my house, I have this kind of bluish color going on because I went for a more like coastal farmhouse kind of cottage feel to my home and decor. Um, but with me changing around my kitchen and doing that last update, I thought this needed a good updating as well just to match everything in. So I'm using some classic white in the milk paint by Rust-Oleum and I'm going to paint over all of the blue that is inside here. So this white that I'm using is a lot brighter than the white that was on there, kind of a more bluish kind of hue to it. So I needed to repaint the entire hutch. So that included the inside and the outside. So I did have a lot of chipping going on at the bottom, which you will see here um, in a few clips later, but that all had to get repainted. So now it's just a nice fresh coat of white throughout the entire piece. So with a little help from my husband on this project, he helped me get it off of the stand and then now I'm going to remove this top portion of this and it was really easy. It was all just screwed on the top of there. I'm not too sure how old this piece is and I may keep this top portion for something else but with again the look that I was going for, this just kind of did not match the rest of my decor so I definitely wanted to get this top piece off of here. So now I'm just going to give it a clean on the very top where a lot of dust and I had my plants up there so there was leaves <laughs> so I wanted to get the vacuum out just to make sure I didn't have anything up there with dust and debris. Next I'm going to remove all of the hardware because this will also be getting replaced. So I'm just going to start painting the top where I'm going to be setting the top part of the hutch back on top of there um, just to make sure I didn't miss any pieces that's going to be seen. And now this is where the fun part came for me. I 
really love the look of shiplap. We are going to be redoing the whole entire main living area, kitchen and living room in shiplap. So to tie that look in, I wanted to shiplap the front of this cabinet to cover up that design of the doors. So my husband cut me some little strips of plywood that fit into the little groove of the doors perfectly and we're going to give it that shiplap look. So I'm just putting some nickels in between each slot. That way you get that nice shiplap cap, shiplap gap, <laughs> tongue twister. And that way it will kind of look more of that modern farmhouse that we're going for here. So I'm going to continue that process on both sides and the top board did need to be cut a little shorter so while I start the painting I will have my husband cut those down to size. So now uh, my husband was cutting those top portions uh, to fit down the size. Um, I did start the painting of the shiplap with the same classic white and the milk paint just to match the rest of the cabinet. So now that everything is painted and my shiplap is on there, which turned out so incredible, I really love how everything came together. Now I'm just going to start painting the outside of the windows here. Um, and just again, because the white paint that I was using is a lot brighter, I did need to end up using or painting the rest of the cabinet with that white because it was just way, <laughs> you could definitely tell a difference. So I know I've been in full-fledged Christmas mode in the last couple videos of mine, um, but I just really needed to take a break to do this hutch real quick to display all of my Christmas and I think it's really just going to make everything pop, especially now that it's all white and a little bit more of that modern farmhouse and I think it's just gonna really just make everything kind of stick out in its own way and I'm really excited to start decorating this for Christmas.
So now I'm just going to replace all that hardware. I did have some knobs and handles left over from when we did our kitchen remodel. So I'm just going to use one of these handles for the door on top and then the knobs on the bottom with the doors down below. So I'm going to remove the tape and clean off the windows if I got any paint on there, which I did, um, and use some glass cleaner just to spruce it up a bit. So now this was the next morning and I did have to touch up some of my knobs with some spray paint so I just made sure those were nice and dry overnight. So this is the next morning and I'm just going to replace the old knobs with these new knobs on the bottom. So I really love the simplicity that these knobs gave. I think it just added that sweet little touch that it needed. So this is how the whole hutch came out and I'm so excited to decorate this for Christmas which will be my next video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little hutch makeover. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!